So this is definitely going to be a rescue weekend this weekend. Today's Saturday, the 21st of May, 2022. And we're at a uh, Dog Days of Summer event here at Rescue Ranch here in Wairika. And we've got other rescues such as Siskiyou County uh, Humane Society, Goliath Dog Rescue, which uh, deals predominantly with shepherds and huskies, Saving Cats, uh, Saving Shasta Cats Cat Rescue, and then we've got uh, Siskiyou County Animal Control, and the uh, Rescue Ranch, of course, and then the Rescue Ranch Thrift Store. Well, good morning. Today is Sunday, the 22nd of May, 2022. And uh, today is going to be another rescue sort of day. Yesterday I was uh, out at Rescue Ranch all day for a dog adoption and community outreach event. And today is uh, going to be a doing a transport from Wairika here uh, from the Siskiyou County Animal Shelter up to Roseburg, Oregon. And I'm going to be using the Jeep today for the transport. And typically in the Jeep, the Jeep is set up for Remy in the back seat, me in the front seat. Well, Remy is going to be staying home today. But then I usually have, because I live full time in the motorhome, um, a lot of gear in the back of the Jeep. But I got to make room for crates today. So we're going to uh, move all this stuff out of the Jeep and then we will, uh, we will hit the road over towards the shelter. So here's my uh, two transports to Saving Grace. That was Brandy, and this is Marco. Hi, Marco. He's a good boy. So they're going for a ride with me today. So, yeah, just good dogs. So we'll be leaving here, Wairika, heading up to Saving Grace in Roseburg, and dropping them off. Well, hi there, and I'm tooling along here on the transport this morning from Wairika's uh, uh, office, Siskiyou County Animal Shelter, to Saving Grace in Roseburg, Oregon. Uh, we're about oh, 20 minutes north of Medford, uh, coming up on Grants Pass, uh, continuing on to Roseburg, and I've got Brandy and Marco with me today in the uh, kennels in the back. And so I just thought I'd take a moment and show you what we were looking at here. And you know, in uh, the state of Oregon, it's a lot of green trees, which is uh, always nice to see. So just a pretty drive for the day, which I'm kind of glad of uh, to have because yesterday I was on the my feet most of the day, so it's nice to uh, be able to just sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. I'm going up to Phoenix to visit my sister Karen and Mike, and I'm looking up at the top of uh, Mount Ashland, and there's a fire going. Actually, I don't think that's Mount Ashland. I think it's one of the hillsides north of it, but uh, that's not good. That is not good. And I'm a little behind on my laundry, so I thought I'd show you what the uh, washing uh, machine setup looks like here in the motorhome. First, I've uh, got the uh, laundry here that I need to get going, so we're gonna load uh, at least most of that up and we'll see what it takes. So now I have about five days worth of clothes here that uh, need to be washed. So we uh, open it up, uh-oh, and take out some lint from the last load. And jeans. And the rest of, yep, darts, okay all in there and set it and so now that it's in um, I'm gonna set it for cold I lasted a hot load in there a white load and got it set for about 120 minutes of drying and heavy-duty cycle and then 
the uh, let's see we got bleach soap and softener that little cabinet right there is the uh, where I keep the household chemicals and a little tide and we're ready to go so close that up push the start button and away it goes and it will run for a couple hours and then uh, the clothes will all be ready to at least check sometimes things get wadded up and they don't dry quite right so I may have to do a second drying cycle but uh, that will get us ready to go for uh, another few days well hi there and this is Eric and I'm just getting ready to pull out this afternoon heading towards Chico California got everything pretty much all packed up and ready to go but I wanted to show you what the back of the Jeep looked like so in the back of the Jeep on the lower left there I've got wheel covers for the motorhome on the right we've got the car cover um, I've got a couple of tractor supply buckets that uh, are for disasters for water transport but right now I've got uh, road salt in a bag in one of them and the tire chains for the motorhome in the other one that teal blue bag is my uh, evac bag that's got uh, some clothes and stuff of course got to have Remy along um, the Golden State thing is uh, all my shopping bags and then towards the back I've got uh, my barbecue and underneath that I've got my emergency food supplies and disaster kit and so then a few other things like a blanket and um, respirator mask for uh, smoke and uh, disaster radio and some rags so uh, the back of the Jeep's ready to go. As you can see, Remy's ready to go, so let's go. Well, hi there, and greetings from the Chico Airport here in uh, Chico, California, which is kind of halfway between Sacramento and Redding. Uh, it's off the California 99. It's a uh, little ways east of the I-5. But uh, this is not our first time that we've camped out here. Uh, this is the Navdag logistics yard I guess for lack of a better term a lot of their rolling stock is out here uh, in uh, the buildings that are out here and I'm gonna be here for a few days for uh, some navdeg training on Saturday and then Sunday uh, just gonna run some errands and then Monday I'm gonna take the motor home and Remy and we're gonna go down to a place called Lake Minden which is a thousand trails RV park which is kind of between here and Sacramento uh, just outside of a town called Yuba City so uh, just out here to uh, kind of hang out uh, the reason I'm not going back to Wairika right away is there is uh, more NAVDAG training next weekend so I kind of want to stay in the area I'll be able to telework uh, next week from Lake Minden and just uh, you know kind of relaxing and and uh, enjoying life the uh, the training day on both Saturdays will be busy but uh, that's okay so that's what's happening with us uh, tomorrow like I said we're gonna have some navdag training so uh, hopefully I'll get some video of that for you well it's fire season and there's a jolly green giant taking off uh, it's actually a sky crane excuse me that's one of the firefighting helicopters. We are on a red flag warning right now um, until Tuesday. Uh, hopefully he's not dispatching to a incident, but uh, anything's possible. Anybody who wants to do, let's, I couldn't tell you how to do it, I've only done it twice. They should do, they should do. Usually we have Ryan who has animal control, but Kristen was. Yeah, so I'm the dog. It's okay, she said, okay, that's a little bit So watch. I want to go watch her. She's going to, maybe you go like, so I'm the dog. Yeah. So I'm going to, ideally. Dogs. 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 Dogs.
Well, today is Sunday, the 29th of May, 2022, and today I did some uh, grocery shopping. I ran to Costco and ran to Safeway and got some provisions put on board for the month. And uh, you'll notice the motorhome behind me there. Out here at the Navdag yard, uh, I don't have access to any power or any utilities. But fortunately, I know that coming into it, so I filled up with water uh, on board. The temperature right now is very mild. It's a little breezy today, but it's in the in the 70s, so it's totally comfortable to not have any air conditioning or anything like that. I do have the generator on board if I needed it, but um, I also have the solar panels on the roof, which you might be able to see here in the video um, as I pan towards the back of the motorhome. Uh, those solar panels keep the batteries very well topped off, uh, especially this time of the year. Um, I've got a lot of high sun for quite a while, so it, uh, it does a great job of topping off the batteries. Uh, tomorrow I head out, gonna head down to Lake Minden, uh, which is uh, just outside of Yuba City, and then hang out there for a week, and then I'll be back here at the airport uh, for the training next weekend, which is gonna be a mock disaster drill. So tune in next week for uh, that blog entry. Take care. Bye-bye.